And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to embed JotForm in WordPress. So I'm here right now in my jot form and the way we are going to do this one is just go ahead and open any kind of form. So in our case, we're going to go ahead and select this one here. We're going to click edit form and then we're going to click publish. Under publish, you should be able to see here an option that says embed. Go ahead and click that one. And then you have here the code. Uh, we're not really going to need that one. Instead, we're going to look for WordPress in here. So just go ahead and click that one. And then from here, instead of copying everything, just like so, what you're going to do is just copy this one here. So we don't really need all these embed code here at the end, but we cannot really edit this one here. But anyway, just go ahead and copy it. Now we're going to open our website here in WordPress and click visit. Okay, so let's try to scroll this down. And as you can see, there aren't any forms here. So we're going to go ahead and click edit page. Now that we are here in the page, we're going to go ahead and click this plus sign here. And then we're going to type here embed. All right, this one here. So we can put this anywhere we want. But in our case, okay, let's just put it here at the bottom. Now you can just go ahead and paste what you have copied here earlier. But then you will have to delete this embed here. So yeah, the front and the back and then click embed and then you will be able to see the form here that it is working. If I'm going to go ahead and update this one and then try to open this, you will see that below you have there your purchase order request or the form that you have created in the JOT form. And that's how you're going to do it. Now I'm going to show you as well what will happen if we are not going to delete those two earlier. So for example, here we have the embed at the beginning and the embed at the last part. So if I were to click this one, you can see that it says, please enter a URL. So it's not really going to work work and I'm not sure what is the reason why. Now anyway that is how you're going to do it everybody. Congratulations. Now you know how to embed JotForm in WordPress.